that's a funny way to start a video but i used to sell perfumes on campus in my last year in uni and i used to get them wholesale in togo to come sell here in ghana specifically in cape coast because i was at ucc then i nearly had to defer my last year and that is what kind of saved me paying my fees and taking care of some bills in my last year but right now i'm traveling to togo again not for myself but for a friend who is currently dealing in sale of clothes now she gets her item from some market women at makola and she says the prices that these items are sold to her are the same prices the suppliers sell it to normal customers who work in the market to buy so she's hardly making any profits also when they return from togo with their store she has not say in the type of clothes she gets they choose the type of clothes they want to give her so she wants to go to the source and buy these clothes to sell here so that at least the profits markup will be a little bit higher than what it is now so I am here to kind of help her go through the process I'm taking her to Togo to make contacts network and then buy a few stock and see what she can get she's here actually so my friend is it in your phone now and that day you talk okay <laughs> this is reggie that's my friend that Hello. i'm traveling with the business woman <laughs> so our uber is in ready to leave we are actually going to the applaud station at to do to pick our bus so we'll see you on the road <laughs> arrived and we are checking in right now no it's not you your my email do you have to go do i have to go not yet so we are in togo now i just took my shower did my skincare i was in that bathroom for at least 30 minutes no music no video no nothing just me and my thoughts it was really nice but i wanted to catch you up on what has transpired since we left ghana so the journey from ghana to togo every border processing well we had a little bit of an issue with my friend's document but i knew that beforehand so i kind of sorted it out when i was in ghana before we made a trip so that was taking care of him before we Got here so that made the process even smoother we spent just about maximum like five minutes after checking i was so tired like i was out of it because yesterday i had just two hours of sleep and apparently my friend also didn't really sleep the night before we had planned to go to the market to check a few things today we finished with the check-in around five and we decided no we are not going to go to the market my friend didn't bring any attire so we had to now go around the market to get her an outfit for tomorrow but it was around five and already market is closing so it was a little bit of a hassle. She was specific on what she wanted. So we're walking around till we got what she wanted. 
finally <laughs> so after that we just came back to the hotel went to the restaurant to get some food the restaurant at the hotel the place is small intimate i like the vibe the food um something funny when we got there the lady was trying to ask us what we wanted but you know the language bar i told her to bring the menu so that i will maybe choose based on the picture or based on the name the menu comes and i cannot think to decide oh i want abc <sighs> my dear i was just way too tired so i just picked the first thing on the menu sheet and that was omelette from the breakfast section i thought omelette would be veggies eggs and then maybe bread but it was just egg and i asked for bread so i took that first and then decided on the food i was taking and i took steak and couscous for the steak it felt like it was just probably boiled the spices wasn't as much as i would want but the omelette and then the steak i will rate like five or maybe six and the lady who attended to us so good still with the language barrier and all tomorrow is the shopping day we are going we've actually even started collecting contact we are building contact mostly and then shopping we plan to start the day early so far i like it. i've never not like coming to talk it's my second favorite country so the first one is ghana if you're wondering yeah I'm happy I'm here. Like it's always nice to be away from home, you know, for a few days, unplug and reconnect with new people. I'm gonna have a very long and good sleep. So I will see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's morning here in Togo. Very bright morning. So we are getting ready to kind of start off the day. It's about one hour away from when we are going to go to the market. I've not checked up on my friend yet. I'll do that after talking to you so this morning i'm going in with perfume i'm going with this is a mixture of black intensive wood from mancera and wood touch so a little bit of a deeper perfume and then i'll go in with this <coughs> that was strong and i'll go in with this is velvet vanilla also from mancera that's a sweet perfume to tame the boldness of the food a little bit. Yeah, so as I told you yesterday, today we are going to the market. But one is okay for us, right? To share. Mm. Or you wouldn't want okay, it's fine. You can keep this here. Yeah. You can keep the meal. Okay, thank you. And you ah. this This thing is cold. Um it's cold. It's cold. Yeah. Hot. Hot, yeah. Mm. Okay. Microwave. No, 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 not microwave. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. This is, this is okay. Is it's it? okay. Yeah, this one is okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll inside. I don't think I will be buying it. And I'll come to Kuban. So it's missing. So we've been back from the market for a while and now we are out to take dinner. We are currently at the Lorenzo Beach Plaza. It tastes like okay, maybe other local food here, yeah, so yeah. I'd plan to show you the things we got from the market, but obviously we have to get food in our system. Hey there. It's good. Before, if you don't bring one city to come here, you will see 250 uh, coins. Now, 
One CD is now 50. Ten CD is 500 for Togo. Give me money again. CD don't spoil. If it does, me CD is for me. You throw it away. I don't go collect. If not big CD, no problem. CD no be money now. Now before CD is good. No, no, we are the sort I come to your country, can't no. spend. Oh, sorry. You tell me my city don't no give money. Abby? Okay. No, we are the sort of cities, but uh, now before we are like your cities. So we actually started filming cold and we left to the hotel and immediately we got to the hotel I just came to bed today's our last day it's Sunday we have to try and get to Ghana like Accra before evening so that my friend can travel this evening to her city because she's got to work tomorrow morning we had planned to use this day as an exploring day visiting few touristy Size, but um, we'll probably go to just one place, maybe take a picture or two, and then we'll take off to the border and then to Accra so that we can catch up with time. That is the plan today, yeah. back in Ghana we arrived yesterday around 4 so my friend was able to travel back to her city I'm gonna show you the things we got from the market obviously hers is with her I can only show you mine this is a set I got the day we went for the dinner at the beach this is what I wore so this is how the camera looks like and it comes with a belt and then this you see the tag is still on there i didn't wear that this is too big for me i doubt i will even wear it but if i decide to wear it i will have to alter it this is going for seven thousand five hundred six eighteen cd fifty pesos ghana city makes one thousand safer i saw those on a lady and it looked really nice like a biker short in a velvety material this is the top that goes with it a very simple light t-shirt top on the side you have this slit it was going for five thousand safer but i was able to buy game down to three thousand five hundred safer it's a very simple banded skirt it's showing as white but it's a light blue skirt and i got another one from the same seller so that was four thousand this was four thousand too this is beige it's also a banded skirt i like the detail in front here but blue one fits perfectly but this one fits a little bit too tight but i still like it it's a banded skirt so it will work i got this skirt it's a long skirt with a little bit of a slit here with this crop crew neck top i kind of regret getting this a little bit because when they gave me this at this point i was really tired i saw it on the mannequin i felt it i'm like yeah i'm okay with it <clears throat> but the issue is it's a see-through very 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 light you can see my hand back there like huge see-through it will be difficult to wear this even at night this two-piece cost three thousand five hundred but she ended up giving it to me as three thousand and we got this sunnies 
well not necessarily sunny so this is how i've been looking for a clear kind of sunny to be wearing in the evenings you know because the main means of transportation in lome is riding the motorbike it's just proper to always be wearing shades to protect your eyes from the wind so this was good for the evening because i sent just one shade and it was dark but again i don't have any clear shades in my sunglasses collection so i decided to add this this was four thousand but i paid two thousand i like that on the outside it looks a little bit like it's darker but it's actually clear i nearly forgot this this is a perfume that i got as a gift my friend got some perfumes from the perfume shop when we went to the market but i didn't they were not selling my type of perfume i think you will call this a dupe it's been designed and passed off as a perfume de mali perfume they even have their logo here i don't like that but i wasn't buying any perfume from there and the vendor asked why i wasn't buying any perfume for the <laughs> sake of not trying to do a lot of explanation i just told him i didn't have money so he gave me this as a gift that was so nice of him this smells okay it's leaning more masculine than feminine and this was going for 2000 safer one thing also we met a lot of Ghanaians there obviously that is where most market women and the ladies who sell online go to shop but it was just refreshing and you'll be speaking tree and someone will tap you are you a Ghanaian and we just start talking it was nice secondly it was my first time I actually noticed how beautiful the Togolese women are, the market women I mean. Most of them were nicely dressed, especially those who were selling clothes. I walked up to at least three people telling them how beautiful they were. They had nice shades, a little bit of advice when you are crossing the border. You can cross with just your Ghana card. I was also advised to always have your yellow card when they didn't ask for our yellow cards i know some people like i'm familiar with some faces at the border so probably that might be the reason why they let me pass but i was saying make sure you have your yellow card. i have my yellow card they just didn't check make sure you have your yellow card and COVID. they are not strict on COVID. also right now they didn't ask anything about COVID. so i think you can cross without a COVID test but i would say just to be on the safer side just have all your documents ready and it's easy to pass through be respectful if you can smile a lot, it helps. Use a lot of common sense. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but use a lot of common sense when you are running around and doing things. It helps also. Like, just don't be loose. Be tight and conscious. That is what I was saying. But the, I love the strip. It was really nice. It's, it's always nice to go to Togo. It's a very beautiful country. I like it. The people there are a little bit just slow for me, but I like the country. So... <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.